everyone. My name is Karolina Miszczak and together with Sylvia Klasoń, I have the great pleasure of hosting today's gala of the third edition of Allegro Prize. This competition for visual artists is organized together by Allegro, which is the largest e-commerce platform of European origin, and by Contemporary Links, represented here by Sylvia, uh, which is an independent international magazine dedicated to art, culture, photography, design and collecting. The main goal of Allegro Prize is to support artists and give them the opportunity to devote themselves to artistic practice. We also search for new talents and want to give the artists the chance to present their works to the international audience. The first edition of Allegro Prize took place in 2020. The winner was Paris-based artist Agatha Ingarden. The second edition took place in 2021 and the winner was the artist from India, the Bashish Paul. In the past two years, we received more than 3,500 applications from over 100 countries. This year, 1,831 artists from 92 countries from all over the world had their chance to present works before our jury that consists of Joanna Kam from Liste Art Fair Basel, Ksenia Mawik from Pinchuk Art Center Research Platform, Art Collective Slavs and Tatars, Anja Rubik, supermodel, philanthropist, and founder of Sext Ed, Dorian Batycka, art critic and curator, and organizers. Dobromiła Błaszczyk and Sylvia Krasoń from Contemporary Links, as well as myself, Karolina Miszczak, responsible for art and collectibles market on Allegro. In a moment, the jury will award three winners as, well, 12 special mentions. Three winners will receive the amount of 25,000 Polish zloty. And uh, both winners and uh, special mention artists will have the opportunity to present their art in a dedicated article in Contemporary Links magazine. In addition, this year's competition also includes, for the first time, the Audience Choice Award of 5,000 um, Polish Zloty. Between 16 and 30th of November, anyone could vote for favorite artist uh, from the shortlist of 30 candidates chosen by the jury. Let us recall their names. Daniel Rewkowski and Andrzej Raczyński, Zuzanna Czepatul, Akwazi Afrane, Beatrice Schwet, Mondijan, Weronika Czerewniczenko, Aleksia Veno, Andrea Angel, Ruti Devries, Mumita Basak, Monika Czyżyk, Dorota Gawenda and Egle Kulbokaite, Alicja Rogalska, Marta Bogdańska, Sak Napoli, Mateusz Sarełło, Natalia Karczewska, Jesus Desguero, Turnus Collective, Aleksandra Ska, Józef Pilat, Madia Zalewa, Georg Pinterich, Jana Kononowa, Rexit Tseng, Suresz Kumar Singa, Yuri Bilej, Anjan Modak, Izak Chongwaj, Filip Karutkowska, and Lor Katuzier. All right, so without further ado, let's get to the results. We will start with the audience award. <music> 
Some of you who voted through our website might have seen some sneak peeks of this information. But for those of you who did not, let me announce that the winner of the first audience award of Allegro Prize is Yuri Bile. My name is Yuri Bilei. I am an artist and curator. I am from Ukraine and have been living in Poland for seven years. I am very happy about this award. And I would like to thank everyone who voted for me. I dedicated this award to my brother who is fighting in the war in Ukraine. Thank you very much once again. Now let's go straight to jury's choice. After the vigorous deliberations, the jury has chosen three winners and 12 honorable mentions. 12 instead of 10, because three artists received equal amount of points. Our jurors, Slavs and Tatars Collective, with Kasia Korczak behind the camera and Payam Sharifi in front of it, will announce names of 12 artists who won the special mentions. Twelve special mentions go to Yuri Bieli, Andrea Angel, Filip Kolotkowska, Alicia Rogalska, Sag Napoli, Jana Kononova, Akvasia Tame, Monica Cieszek, Lexi Tsang, Beatrice Shuet Mumjian, and Veronika Czernyczenko and Alexia Benot. Thank you, Payam, and congrats to Dimension 12. Now we go to Ksenia Mawik, who will announce the laureate of the first main award. I'm very glad to announce that the main award goes to Daniel Rivkovsky and Andriy Raczynski. Rivkovsky and Raczynski have been documenting and observing their homeland, Ukraine, with a strong political voice for many years, creating a highly significant collective memory of a traumatized country. By doing so, they are fusing different formats of artistic practices, installations, reenactment, video, archives, researching the contexts and landscapes of the industrial regions of their country. Artists process a large amount of information, creating new archives in the concept of Hal Foster's archival impulse and pulling on popular topics and unnoticed historical and social process to the surface of public thought. Congratulations. Thank you, Ksenia, for these nice words and justification of the verdict. Now let's go and hear and see Daniel and Andri. Hi, everyone. First of all, I would like to say a big thank you to Allegro Prize team. This support is very important for us and we are very pleased and honored to get this prize. Thank you of all your attention to Ukrainian art and culture. It helps us to continue working despite of the Russian shellings and hard conditions. Hello. At first, uh, I want uh, to thank uh, to all Allegro Prize team for your decision and choice. We are very pleased. I would like to say a big thanks to you. This is very important uh, reward for us in such difficult times. Thanks for your attention to Ukrainian art and Ukrainian artist. Thank you for your support.
now we have to announce the winner of the main prize. A small reminder, this year we have three equal main prizes. Let us hear some words from Dobromiła Błaszczyk. Good evening. I have a great pleasure to announce that the main prize winner is Dorota Gawenda and Egle Kubokaita. Congratulations. Dorota Gawenda and Egle Kubokaita's processual works span performance, sculpture, photography, painting and video. They works reference Baltic Slavic folklore, traditional Lithuanian folk songs and literature mixed with ecofeminist criticism and anxieties related to ecological and social unease, showing our contemporary angst. Dreamed and legendary old fears mutate and take on new shapes in the present times. They create new horror narratives that map out a future coexistence. Their collaborative work impressively reflects our time, in which certainty is a matter of the past. Let's hear some words from the artists. Hello, I'm Dorota Gavenda. And I'm Egli Kulvokaita. We are an artist duo and we have been working together since 2013. I'm Lithuanian and Dorota is Polish and currently we're based in Basel. We are so, so happy to be amongst the artists awarded this year's Allegro Prize. We want to thank um, the jury so much and all the people and collaborators have been together with us. Uh, we have met so many wonderful and generous and inspiring people throughout the years that we have been working. Our practice is intrinsically collaborative. We work across a variety of media, from sculpture to painting to performance to fragrance, where language breaks down and uh, genres men merge into many. Transfusing different bodies of knowledge across space and time, we nurture research-based practice that weaves together seemingly the separate fields such as ecology and technology, science and magic, non-human intelligence and shared speculation. Also an interest in folklore runs through our work, weirding the relationship between the body and the landscape through storytelling and opening up alternative states and temporalities through queerness and magic. Again, thank you so much, everyone, and congratulations to all the other shortlisted and awarded artists. Thank you. Thank you, Dobrusia, Egle, and Dorota. Emotions run high. We have only one more artist or art collective to be awarded today. It is Dorian Batycka who will announce the last verdict. Let's hear it now. Contemporary Lynx magazine is pleased to announce as one of the winners of the 2022 Allegro Art Prize as artist Zuzana Chabatol. Zuzana in her works often addresses power structures, ideologies and politics in which she exposes the fluidity and flexibility therein. She uses her own body as a trigger for an erotic fantasy of power. Her installations often appear in turn collapsed, destroyed, deflated, or fragmented, and question concepts such as monuments, public edifice, and symbolic architecture. They are anti-monuments for an ideology-free society. She breaks through these boundaries and systems of domination with mostly monumental installations that give space to the importance of queer and feminist narratives in an often, literally, oversized way. Congratulations, Susanna. Thanks, Dorian. And now let's hear some words from Susanna. Hello, I'm Susanna Chabatul, and I'm very happy to be the recipient of one of the main prizes of this year's Allegro prize competition. I would like to thank the initiators, especially the jury, Joanna Kamm, Slavs and Tatars, 
Ksenia Malek, Ania Rubik, Dorian Batycka, Karolina Myszczak, Dobromiła Błaszczyk and Sylwia Krazoń. It is strange to end this year with such pleasant news, while the exact same year ends with the continuation of an unimaginable war in Europe. While I am very honored to receive this award as an artist, the ongoing catastrophe is pondering in my mind like a second heart. Many of us artists and cultural workers are torn between creating while trying to make sense of the many challenges our global society is facing. Utilizing our creative strategies and mechanisms to soothe and empower is art's particular role today. The cultural fields, which live from the development of solutions for unimaginable tasks, come to play as significant and helpful toolkits. Therefore, I would like to use this moment of attention to encourage us all to remain in solidarity with those who are currently not as free and unhindered in life. Thank you very much. I want to congratulate to all the winners and participants of the third edition of Allegro Prize 2022. It's important to note that selection process was very difficult due to the high variety and quality of portfolios. It only shows how many still unrecognized but inspiring and talented artists uh, there are on international art scene. Inevitably, it shows how much more can be done in terms of making this amazing art to be more accessible and recognized. We are proud and happy to contribute to this goal. Now that we know results, I would like to thank everyone who was involved in making Allegro Prize happen. First of all, I would like to thank my Allegro team with Jacek Weihert, Remy Gan, Paulina Godlewska, Joanna Szpatowicz, Daniel Welter and Justyna Kowalewska in particular. Secondly, as I send my thanks to our partner, Contemporary Links, uh, and our jury for all of their work. Last but not least, I would like to thank our institutional partners, Friends of the Museum of Modern Art in Warsaw, the Society for the Encouragement of Fine Arts, Art Academies in Warsaw, Krakow, Poznań, Wrocław and Szczecin, School of Form and our media patrons Onet and Tok FM. Saying goodbye to all of you tonight, we encourage you to follow Allegro website, join our group Allegro Prize and obtain more information on the competition as well as the winning artists. Good night. Good night.